It's time to find a deserving animal, a forever home. Barbara Goodwin and David Smitherman are here from the Humane Society of West Alabama with our featured animals. Guys, thank you both so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Who do we have with us today? Uh, this one's Blackie, and this she's is sugar. A female. This is the male. They're both, uh, they're brother and sister. Uh, and it's Blackie, and is it, is it sugar? Is that right? This is yes. sugar, yes. Gotcha. And this is the, the female, and that's the male? Yes. Yes. All right, super. Now, how old are they? About two. Roughly. About, about two years old. <laughs> they, ha they have a little interesting story. Uh, back in uh, April of 2011 when we had the tornado, mm -hmm. their family's home was destroyed. Oh. So their mother and these two came to live at the Humane Society for about six months. And they were recently turned back over to the animal shelter because the family couldn't take care of them anymore. Oh. So we have them back. and. We're actually glad to have them back. They're, they're wonderful dogs, and mm -hmm. we just want them to have a, a good chance at getting a new home. Now, <laughs> that one seems to be fun. He is a, he is a looker. He is a looker. <laughs> All right. They're about two-ish years yes. old, uh, and, and they've been with you guys. How long did you say? They've only been with us for a week just this a week. time, but they were with us for six months last year. All right. So, and they're tornado survivors. They are. Mm -hmm. And tell us a little bit about, are you guys going to have to adopt them out together? Are they, or are you looking for a home for both of them together, or can they go one at a time? Because I know a lot of times when doggies, especially from the same litter, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a little tough on them if one goes in one direction and one goes in the other. They, they don't have to be adopted out together. They get along with a lot of different kinds of dogs and mm -hmm. individually. They're, they're in the same play group now, but they don't really play together a lot. Now, if you adopt them out, if you adopt siblings out from the Humane Society, we give a break. It's, right. it's normally $75 to adopt, oh. and if you adopt siblings, we'll uh, adopt them for uh, 125 Now, I guess we've moved past a pretty scary animal holiday, Halloween, <laughs> because there's so much going on in the candy and, and, and everything. Uh, but you guys were having some specials during that period of time, too. Do you have plans for November? Actually, a home for the holidays is uh, something we've got going on right now, and it's mainly through the cat adoption ah. center. Now, uh, cats that are over a year old will waive the adoption fee, and um, the uh, cats that are under a year old, mm -hmm. so we've reduced it to $40. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a really good deal right now. We're trying to get all of our, our animals good homes and these guys aren't any exception. We also have their mother. Oh, really? Yes, we have their mother um, with us as well. She's, she's around eight years old. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they, like I said, they, they've been together all their lives, but they don't have to stay together. I see. But, you know. It, it would be ideal if we could mm -hmm. together, but, you know, it, it's not critical for these two. They, uh, they, they can function apart, so. Gotcha. The, the bandanas are killing me. I, I just keep getting distracted. That's great. That's absolutely great. They had to have some bling. And that's definitely bling. That's very yellow. <laughs> Guys, thank you both so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of furry friends are looking for a forever home. You can find out more about pet adoptions by calling 205-554-0011 or online at humanesocietyofwa.org. The presidential election...